Today, we are making Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. Yummy! For our ingredients, you need two cups of meat or beef. This is filet. This is leftover from last night. You can use any kind of meat that you'd like. About a half of a chopped green pepper, about a half of an onion, just roughly chopped. You would like some provolone cheese, and of course your egg roll wrappers. Start by melting about two tablespoons of butter in a wok or a large frying pan or a skillet. Now we're gonna add our onions with clean hands. I know I say that every video, but we're gonna add our onions and we're gonna add our peppers. We're gonna saute these for about five minutes until they're soft. Now add a little bit of salt. This is about, I don't know, maybe a half a teaspoon. teaspoon. And you gotta have your pepper. Ah, oh, we love pepper. Now we're going to add our meat to the wok. And I'm going to add just a few drops of Worcestershire sauce just to give the meat a little bit of taste. Make it a little bit juicier. I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes because we like heat in this house. Just mix this all up and saute it for about another oh, two to three minutes to make sure all of your meat is cooked well. Our mixture is done, so we're gonna take it off of the stove. So we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna let it cool because you can't fill the egg roll wrappers with hot filling, else it will make the egg rolls soggy. I'm gonna add an extra step, which you can absolutely skip. I'm gonna put my mixture into my small ninja here, and I'm going to mince the mixture so that it's a little bit softer and easier to fill the egg rolls, but you can absolutely skip this step. You don't have to do it. Okay. Now, as you can see, our mixture is still intact, but it's minced. So it just makes your egg roll a nicer consistency, I guess. Now we're ready to wrap. Remember, diamond point towards you. So we're going to take about maybe two tablespoons of mixture and place it on our egg roll wrapper. Then we're going to take a couple strips of provolone cheese and place that on top of the meat. And then we're going to roll it. So we're going to start with that corner and we're going to roll it over just like that. And then we're going to fold this corner over there and this corner over there. So we have this corner there, and now we're going to take this corner, and we're going to put it there to make sure it's tight. I put a little dab of water on that corner so that when we roll it, it all sticks together nicely. And there we have it. There we have our first egg roll wrap. And I'm going to do another one, but the next one I'm going to do is with American cheese. But there we go. There's our first egg roll. And this one's going to be our American cheese one. And we're going to wrap it up just like the last one, and then we will get cooking. So now place your egg rolls in your air fryer basket. Again, you can do these in the oven at 375 degrees for 20 minutes, or you can oil fry them for three minutes, but we're using the air fryer, and we're going to place these in for 10 minutes, and then we're going to turn them over and bake them for another three minutes. So, okay, it's been 10 minutes. They look delicious. They look just like every other egg roll, except the... All right except the middles are different. Okay, we're gonna turn this over. Um, it looks like the cheese oozed out a little bit from this one, so just a reminder, kids, wrap your egg rolls tightly. All right, I'm putting these, these in for another three minutes. We're ready for the big reveal. Cheesesteak egg rolls coming out. Ah, they look great. Oh, these look fantastic. And my entire home smells like um, an Italian carryout place. These look delicious. Let's plate them. So I wasn't sure if I could tell which one was the provolone and which one was the American. But since this one leaked, I'm assuming that's the American. I'm going to let them cool a little bit. I'm going to cut them in half. And we're going to taste these babies. Just a word of warning. These are really, really hot. So, so you probably want to let them cool off for about 10 to 15 minutes before you even touch them. Because I just burned my little fingers here. So this one looks like the American cheese one. Ouch, 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 ouch. And this one looks like the provolone and it looks delicious. So we're gonna taste the provolone one first. They're still hot, looks delicious. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh my God, I can't even, there's no description. These are so good. Oh my God, the only thing it's missing it's going to a little bit of marinara sauce or something to dip it in. But other than that, they're so good. They're very hot. You really want to let them cool off. 
cut them in half, serve them as appetizers, and seriously, I think I just died and went to heaven. I'm going to taste the one with the American cheese. I really like American cheese. Here we go. That is so good. You, you've got to make these. Bye. Oh.